Hi, this is Mohammed Ahmed. In this video, we'll discuss hybrid EMR and ESD for five product called Impalab. So that's a Impalab that was injected for the intention of sending the patient to surgery, and then he came for um, endoscopic resection. As we can see here, that lesion is Paris 2 AC. He had elevated area and depressed area. Uh, you can argue that you can do EMR here, but the problem because of the depressed and fibrotic part, it will be very hard. So we decided to attempt doing ESD first. As you see here, um, for doing ESD, I prefer starting in front of the lesion, not behind the lesion as we do with EMR. So we try to inject as much as we can in front of the lesion. And we try to uh, make the initial incision um, anterior to the lesion. And sometimes, if we're able to go through a bucket, that would be great. But most of the time, we'll try to dissect towards the gravity side. So that's the initial incision here, and you can notice there is significant fibrosis. Uh, we are extending uh, the initial incision into a C shape. Hopefully sometime by doing that, it will open up the area. As you can see here, under the lesion, there is significant fibrosis. We are not able uh, to go into a bucket, but will continue to dissect. And um, the decision here was to do circumferential incision, giving the severe fibrosis. And when we do circumferential incision and plan on doing a hybrid ESD EMR, you have to make sure that not only we do an incision, but we do good dissection all around. So at least you have to dissect one third uh, of the lesion all around to allow the snare to go nicely around the lesion. Otherwise, you may not be able to remove it in one piece. So as we see here, we're trying to free up the upper margin of the lesion. Um, if we did not free up this area, the snare will get stuck there and it may just uh, jump over it and then you will not have uh, in-block dissection. So I'm really spending enough time dissecting this fibrotic upper part and once the lesion is mostly uh, dissected well, you can put the snare and the snare now will go under uh, the lesion and we can do uh, the EMR part for the hybrid procedure. Uh, now the procedure will be much faster and you can see that uh, we have a fibrotic um, a base and also all the Indian ink here. And very close and close in inspection, you will find there is a small micro perforation at the edge of the lesion. And this happens a lot when you do snare uh, resection after ESD. The beauty of doing ESD is that you can separate the submucosa nicely from the underlying layer. But of course, when you have a lot of ink like that, this may be impossible and you may have a micro burst like that. Anyway, we'll continue here with putting clips. And as we see, we started the clips on the edge and we're doing what we call the zipper technique by starting at the edge and gradually going inside, uh, putting clips here as close as we can to each other. And we do that to avoid the phenomena of what we call dug ear, which is to leave a space between your clips. And this space uh, could be a leak later on, especially if you have a micro perforation. So we are getting now to the other end of the lesion and it is completely closed. You can also consider suturing in a situation like that and you can obtain similar or sometimes fit better results with suturing. As we can see, uh, the lesion was removed in M block, uh, peripheral deep margins were negative and uh, biopsies showed tubular adenoma. Thank you.